Chapter 876, Powerful Clang Boom The gigantic energy light pillar rushed into the clouds, as loud thunderous noises rumbled in the surroundings. Waves of energy rippled outwards, causing space itself to warp and disturb. All around, astonishment and shock surfaced within countless gazes, as many looked at the strange sights in the sky. The expressions of many experts turned grave. An initial profound life stage expert should not be capable of such an act. This fellow is truly formidable, a few gazes turned grave as they looked towards the thin figure within the light pillar and muttered. They were able to sense exactly how terrifying the attack that Lin Dong had condensed was. It was evident that he truly wanted to settle the battle in a single move. Regarding his decision, a few shrewd and experienced experts did not find this strange. Against three powerful opponents with such strength, the longer he dragged this on, the more disadvantageous it would be for him. Instead, it would be better to utilize one's full power with one's strongest attack, and defeat the opponents in a single move. At times like this, any type of probing attacks would not have the slightest use. However, the Wei Zhen trio are not easy to deal with. Gazes suddenly turn around and look towards the three figures within the square. At this time, due to the spectacle that Lin Dong had created, shock had appeared on the faces of those three figures. However, in the next moment, their expressions rapidly turned grim. They understood clearly that if they were defeated by Lin Dong despite collaborating, their fame and reputation would suffer a heavy blow. Wanting to use our fame and reputation as your stepping stone, I think you must be dreaming. Wei Zhen clenched his teeth as his expression turned sinister and gloomy. In the next instant, his gaze turned towards the similarly overcast Chen Luo and said, Brother Chen Luo, let's attack with our full power. This brat is indeed not simple. After witnessing the spectacle created by Lin Dong, it was evident that Wei Zhen had completely withdrew his disdain. In addition, he had a clear understanding that he probably could not block the attack by himself. Agreed. Chen Luo nodded his head. Although he did not want to admit it, against the frightening energy pillar that had saturated the sky, a sliver of terror had indeed appeared within his heart. As the two looked to each other, ominous glints flashed past their faces. One wielded a giant blade, the other wielded a long black spear. At this instant, two abnormally boundless Yuan power unfurled from their bodies. Hum hum. The boundless Yuan power that surrounded the two seemed to transform into a storm, as they revolved violently. Yuan power rubbed and chafed with the air, producing piercing buzzing sounds. Beside the two of them, Wei Li had also urged the Yuan power within his body to its extreme. Although the quantity of his Yuan power was inferior to that of Wei Zhen and Chen Luo, the strength of a peak initial profound life stage expert was still quite astonishing. Lin Dong Today, I want to see exactly how capable you are, to actually dare claim that you'll be able to finish us off in a single move. Wei Zhen held his giant blade and roared towards the heavens. An exceptionally swift and fierce blade glint instantly bubbled up within his eyes. Berserk Yuan power shot gathered above his head his head, forming the shape of a mountain with a blade-shaped peak. A blade glint pervaded the air. It seemed to possess the frightening ability to slice apart space itself. Hum. Compared to the overbearing aura of Wei Chen, Chen Luo appeared exceptionally gloomy and sinister, as grayish-black qi curled around his body. The qi was like terrible spirits as they bored into the long black spear in his hands. The piercing screams of thousands upon thousands of ghosts was rather horrifying. Anyone could see that this Wei Zhen, as well as Chen Luo, appeared to be displaying their strongest attack. Obviously, they were very clear that Lin Dong had put everything into this attack. As long as they could block it, Lin Dong would definitely have exhausted his limited abilities, and would definitely lose. Lin Dong hovered within the light pillar. Indifference surfaced within those pitch black eyes as he looked towards the two people in the distance, whose auras were blotting the skies. In the next instant, his changing hand seals quietly froze. Bang! The instant Lin Dong's hand seals froze, the space behind him instantly shattered, as dark void pervaded out. 
within the void, a faint and blurry figure appeared. It was as if it came from an ancient time, and brought along a frightening fighting intent. This fighting intent spread out in this stretch of world, causing the scalps of innumerable people to turn somewhat numb. At this instant, they felt the blood within their body flare up. This kind of fighting intent was somehow able to affect their hearts and minds. Roar. Within the void, the figure that had passed through time faced the heavens and roared. Its roar seemed to contain an endless, world-shaking fury. Bang bang bang. As the roar sounded out, the Yuan power in this stretch of the world immediately exploded. In the next instant, the figure took a step forward. With this step, it seemed to break through the void and emerge into the real world. Boom. However, the figure was still unable to break through the boundary between time and space. As its foot stepped forward, an endless fighting intent condensed, and formed a giant glowing seal, which descended with a loud rumble. In the next instant, it broke through the void, and ruthlessly fell onto the Wei Zhen trio. Before the giant glowing seal condensed from fighting intent touched the ground, the entire mountain peak was already shaking. On the square below, the ground within a thousand radius spontaneously collapsed, creating a gigantic black hole. Mountain transform into blade, cut. Wei Zhen raised his head, and looked at the giant glowing seal that had passed through the void with a grave expression. Under its frightening fluctuations, all of the fine hairs on his body were standing straight up. Quickly after, his eyes suddenly turned stern, as his hands clenched tightly on the hilt of his giant blade. With a roar, he chopped down furiously. Bang! The instant the giant blade chopped down, the mountain that had formed above his head started to tremble violently. The main peak proceeded to break off, as boundless blade glints swept across the sky. The peak burst open, transforming into a mountain blade thousands of feet long. In the next instant, it inclined and chopped down towards that glowing fighting intense seal. Beside him, Chen Luo also roared at the heavens, while grayish-black mists saturated the air around him. Innumerable strange ghost faces appeared on the surface of the long spear in his hand, as sinister and cold fluctuations radiated out. Ten thousand soul-devouring ghost spear. Chen Luo's palm suddenly patted the shaft of the spear, as it tore through the air. Black mist curled around it, transforming it into a black meteor. It pierced through the void, and viciously howled towards the glowing fighting intense seal. Furious wave swallowing whale palm. Behind the two, Wei Li used all of his Yuan power to display the strongest attack he had, and sent it rumbling out. Bang bang! Three extremely tyrannical attacks shot through the sky with an astonishing speed. Under the countless fiery gazes and bated breaths, they collided violently with the descending glowing seal. Boom! At the instant of the collision, the entire stretch of world seemed to turn quiet. Next, everyone saw tyrannical energies crazily erupting in the sky. It was akin to a volcano that that erupted in the sky, exceptionally loud and terrifying. The berserk energies swept out in an unparalleled manner causing a few experts who were floating in the air to suffer from the aftershocks. They spurted mouthfuls of blood, before hurriedly descending in a miserable manner. The older generation of the four clans immediately took action, as vigorous Yuan power radiated out, forming a barrier that shielded the seats of the various clans. Only by doing so did they avoid any injuries. However, the ear-piercing creaks when those energies impacted the barrier, caused the expressions of many people to change. If such an attack landed on one's body, there would likely be nothing left of the person. The remnant energies spread frantically, lasting for several seconds before gradually dissipating. At this instant, the entire mountaintop appeared exceedingly disordered and chaotic. Many unlucky fellows who were caught in the aftermath had disheveled hairs and looked extremely miserable. This chaos lasted for a while before gaze after gaze turned towards the sky with swishing sounds. They wanted to know the result immediately. Fiery gazes converged in the sky. In the next instant, they saw four figures facing off in the distant skies. Ugh! Under the convergence of those innumerable gazes, 
Wei Li was the first to spurt out a mouthful of blood, before the clothes on his body exploded. Blood spurted and shot out of the pores of his skin, as he fell head first towards the ground. His aura was extremely weak, and it was obvious that he had suffered extremely serious injuries. How is this possible? Wei Zhen's hair draped across his shoulder, with blood stains covered his entire face. His hands trembled as they held onto the giant blade, while blood dripped down from the sharp end of his blade. Currently, his originally grim and fierce eyes, were now filled with terror and disbelief. He was truly unable to believe that with their combined strength, Lin Dong had still forced them into such a state. Beside Wei Zhen, Chen Luo's palms were still holding tightly onto the long black spear. However, his faintly trembling body revealed that the situation within his body was not calm. Lin Dong's pitch black eyes stared at the two of them, before two low and deep muffled noises rang out from his body, as two bloody holes exploded on his arm. However, he only spared a light glance at his injuries, before withdrawing his gaze, and proceeded to stare indifferently at the two people standing in the air in front of him. You've lost. An indifferent voice rang out slowly from Lin Dong's mouth. Ugh. Just as his words rang out, Wei Zhen and Chen Luo each spurted a mouthful of blood. Cracks had actually appeared on the surface of the giant blade and black spear, as their brilliance became extremely dim. As they spurted out blood, the two of them appeared like birds with broken wings, as they helplessly fell from the sky, while drawing dark red scars in the air. Under the deathly silence that occupied the entire mountain, they landed heavily on the ground. The immense force of their landing created gigantic fissures on the ground. As the two landed on the ground with a loud bang, the entire area was filled by a deathly silence. Countless gazes stared at the two bloody figures, as their mouths slowly started to fall open. Can the result be announced? Silence filled the entire mountain. Lin Dong stood in the air, as he quietly used his slightly trembling hands to rub away the blood stains on his arms. Subsequently, he turned his gaze towards the Shenta clan referee, as a flat and soft inquiry slowly echoed within the silence. Chapter 877, Initial Contact Lin Dong's soft voice unhurriedly rang out through the silence. At the same time, it caused the numerous people, who were immersed in shock, to gradually regain their senses. He actually won. Many people looked at one another, and saw the great shock and astonishment that filled all their faces. Even though they had personally witnessed what had happened, they were still unable to accept the shocking reality for a time. Those were three peak initial profound life stage experts. Among them, Wei Zhen and Chen Luo even possessed the strength to break through to the advanced profound life stage. However, even though those three powerful people had joined hands, they had still been defeated at Lin Dong's hands in a single round. This spectacle was undoubtedly extremely shocking. In the air, the Shenta clan referee stared somewhat dumbfoundedly at the scene before him, before gradually regaining his senses a short while later. He looked towards the thin figure standing high in the sky, as graveness gushed out in his eyes. With Lin Dong's previous performance, he clearly had the qualifications of challenging the heaven-blessed prodigy of their Shenta clan, Shenta Ju. Azure Method, Lin Dong's Victory The Gu clan wins. When the referee's deep and low roar rang out within the sky, waves of noise emerged. This ending had really exceeded everyone's expectations. In the Wei clan direction, the faces of the older generation were all ashen. This was an originally a definite win, however, it had been completely reversed. Such a contrast was truly unbearable and hard to accept. That bastard! Where exactly did he come from? A Wei clan older generation exclaimed hatefully while clenching his teeth. I've never heard of him before. I believe that he should not be from the Heaven Wind Sea region. If not, it won't be possible for him to be without any fame and reputation. Another person replied gloomily. He dares to go against our Wei clan. Truly a reckless one. A person exclaimed with a gloomy and sinister expression. Find out the origins of that brat. As many of the older generation at the Wei clan's side were flying into a rage, 
the Gu clan's side was instantly enveloped with thunderous cheers of joy and happiness. Every Gu clan member, even a steady and calm elder like Gu Xiao, could not resist the emotion in their hearts, and stood up. Their hands gently hung at their sides, as they continuously nodded their heads. Such a formidable fellow! Gu Yuntian exhaled deeply, while his eyes filled with admiration. He knew that if he were the one who needed to challenge the Azurum method, he would absolutely not have the courage to do so. Gu Menki smiled faintly and sweetly, a smile that was gentle and alluring. Her eyes were sparkling with extraordinary splendor, as she looked towards the thin figure in the sky. In the air, Lin Dong turned around and descended to the Gu clan seats under the countless watching gazes around him. Upon landing, a fragrance swept towards him, as he saw a smiling Gu Menki standing before him. With a gentle voice, she asked, Are you all right? Lin Dong looked at Gu Menki and her alluring smile, as he shook his head. He was indeed unaccustomed to such a gentle tone from the latter. Although she was normally gentle, her gentleness had something that made it difficult for people to get close to her. However, at this moment, that feeling seemed to have vanished completely. How long more before we can challenge the Shenta clan? Lin Dong asked while looking towards Gu Xiao. Ha ha, don't worry now. You've fought in consecutive battles today, and should be exceptionally tired. Take a rest first for today. Tomorrow, we'll head up the mountain and commence the final fight. Gu Xiao replied with a smile, while shaking his head. His tone had turned exceptionally good-natured, as Lin Dong had become more and more pleasing to his eye. After tomorrow's fight, we'll be able to decide who the quotas for the chaotic tower goes to, right? Lin Dong asked softly. Yes. Gu Xia replied while nodding his heading, before continuing, after tomorrow, if our clan is able to obtain the quotas for the chaotic tower, you'll be able to enter the chaotic tower. Ha <laughs> ha. I see that little friend Lin Dong here seems to be alone. It just happens that the clan is currently lacking a sinecure. If you are able to stay in the Gu clan temporarily, I think that you'll also be able to obtain the quota to enter the chaotic tower next year. This should be extremely beneficial to your training. Gu Xiao's eyes rotated, before suddenly speaking towards Lin Dong with a smile on his face. His words were thick with the intent of enticing Lin Dong. After personally witnessing Lin Dong's fight today, it was evident that he was extremely moved. Possessing such talent at this age, Lin Dong would indeed be comparable with the Shenta clan's Shenta Ju in future. Lin Dong shot a look at Gu Xiao. Smiling, he shook his head and replied, I'm sorry Elder Gu Xiao. I have matters to attend to, and perhaps I will have to leave after handling this matter. Therefore, I'm afraid that I'm unable to stay here for long. Hearing his reply, a sliver of disappointment flashed past Gu Xiao's old face. However, there was nothing else he could say or do, but nod his head and say, since that is the case, I won't force you. After Gu Xiao spoke, an old man dressed in blue rose into the sky from where the Shenta clan was situated. His gaze swept in all directions, before it sparkled swiftly and fiercely, and finally came to a rest on Lin Dong's body. His gaze was somewhat grave. Obviously, the usually haughty Shenta clan felt somewhat threatened by Lin Dong. That's the Shenta clan elder, Shenta Tao, Gu Xiao said in a soft voice. According to the results, the Gu clan has won today's martial gathering. They now possess the qualifications to challenge the Shenta clan. If they're able to win again, this year's quotas for entering the chaotic tower will be given to the Gu clan. The blue-robed elder's vigorous voice swept across the area, as strong Yuan power drummed within, causing people's eardrums to feel a piercing pain. What will the format for tomorrow's fight for the tower be? After listening to the vigorous voice, Lin Dong posed his question. There aren't much limitations. As long as you are able to defeat the tower's defender, Shen Ju, that will be it. Naturally, we can also send three people. Gu Xiao replied. Three people, hey, Lin Dong muttered to himself, before slowly shaking his head, in fights like this, having more people present will instead make it more complicated. 
Although Lin Dong had yet to cross hands with Shen Tiju, he was already sensed to feel how powerful he was, and how difficult it would be to deal with him. He was indeed much stronger compared to Wei Zhen and Chen Luo. Facing such an opponent, simply relying on a numbers may result in failing to achieve the expected advantage. You mean that, Gu Xiao's gaze sharpened, before looking at Lin Dong, you're going to continue fighting solo. Lin Dong nodded his head. It was not that he wanted to boast, but he did not wish for teammates without prior chemistry to disrupt his attacks, as that would instead reduce his battle power. He knew that the battle with Shen Tiju would be a hard one. However, for the sake of entering the chaotic tower, it was absolutely impossible for him to stop here. Gu Xiao hesitated for a while, before finally nodding his head as he said, Since you insist, we'll follow your wishes. However, you have to be more careful. Shen Tiju, is very strong. Although Gu Xiao wished to say that Shen Tiju was someone that people like Wei Zhen could not match up to, he now knew that the youth in front of him was also no ordinary individual. Lin Dong's performance today had practically won everyone over, and at the same time, had cleared all the doubts and suspicions placed on him. Upon hearing Gu Xiao's grave tone, Lin Dong nodded his head faintly. How could a figure, that was dreaded by all the geniuses within the four great clans, be dealt with so easily? In the distance, the Shenta clan elder turned around and left after his final announcement. The countless experts in the area gradually scattered, as they prepared to return to the city at the foot of the mountain. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong also prepared to leave with the Gu clan members. However, just as he took a step forward, his expression suddenly turned serious as he abruptly turned his head around, and looked towards the summit of the mountain. Above the peak, a figure was standing upright in midair. A heavy aura, which made one feel difficulty breathing, was faintly discernible as it slowly radiated out. That is. In the surrounding area, everyone who was originally leaving stopped in their tracks, as their stunned gazes looked towards the figure at the mountain peak. Subsequently, their expressions turned grave, as they sensed the pressure from the formidable aura. Iron Azura Shentaju. Cries of shock and alarm suddenly rang out, followed by an uproar. Many of those present were quite familiar with this name. That's Shentaju, hi, Lin Dong muttered as eyes slightly trembled. Under the attention of countless gazes, the gaze of the figure at the mountain summit skipped over the massive crowd before coming to a rest on Lin Dong's body. Bang! As that gaze shot over, solemnness suddenly flashed within Lin Dong's eyes. In the next instant, he felt the Yuan power in the sky in front of him frantically gather. It condensed into a Yuan power mountain peak, which viciously fell downwards. Lin Dong raised his head, and looked towards the descending Yuan power mountain peak. With a flick of his finger, a scarlet red flash of light shot out, transforming into a giant cauldron, that directly clashed with the Yuan Power Mountain Peak. Clang! A clear ringing sound rang out, as the Yuan Power Mountain Peak instantly crumbled. The giant cauldron was sent shooting backwards, before finally tunneling back into Lin Dong's body. Lin Dong raised his head, and looked at the figure with a stern gaze, while slowly saying, Do you wish to bring the match forward? Ha ha! The figure at the mountain summit seemed to chuckle softly. Subsequently, everyone could hear a low muttering voice ring out, You're truly an interesting fellow. Go take a good night's rest. With your current condition, I'm afraid you aren't capable of such a feat. Tomorrow, I'll wait for you in front of the chaotic tower. As those words appeared, the figure slowly descended, and finally disappeared. Lin Dong looked towards the place where the figure had disappeared. His eyes gradually narrowed into a somewhat dangerous arc. Chapter 878, Sea Map Night enveloped Marshall Gathering Island. The ice-cold moonlight mixed with the sea winds sprinkled down on the island, which had been rather noisy for an entire day. At the same time, it gradually calmed the restless atmosphere resulting from the intense battles that had occurred during the day. However, though the restless atmosphere was gradually calming down, there was an undercurrent of excitement and fervor. 
Everyone knew that today, only the elimination rounds were concluded. The true fight would be tomorrow's tower defense battle. Only a fight like that could be considered as the true essence of the martial gathering. Would it be the black horse Lin Dong, who had emerged so swiftly and violently, or would the Shenta clan's Iron Azura achieve a domineering victory? Everything would be revealed the next day. Towards the outcome of this match, countless people had an intense anticipation in their hearts. Within a dark and quiet courtyard, Lin Dong's eyes were faintly shut as he sat atop a stone pillar. Strands of devouring force dispersed, absorbing the surrounding energy of the land. As the Yuan power was absorbed into his body, green light surged beneath Lin Dong's skin. The green heaven materialized dragon skill was automatically circulating, as it endlessly tempered Lin Dong's body. Hum. The green light sparkled for a long time, before a faint humming noise suddenly rang out from under his skin. Under the skin on Lin Dong's arm, green light appeared to condense, finally transforming into a green dragon light tattoo. After the condensation of the light tattoo, it was rapidly concealed. After the green dragon light tattoo was hidden, Lin Dong's eyes opened. He stroked his arm, and gently exhaled. Currently, he could only condense four green dragon light tattoos. He had used one during the day, but fortunately, he was able to use this opportunity to condense another one. This way, when he crossed hands with Shen Ju tomorrow, he would be at his optimum condition. That fellow. Lin Dong raised his head. His gaze pierced through the night sky, towards the summit of the giant mountain at the center of the island. The Iron Azura stood guard there, and was also the strongest opponent he had to face to obtain the quota for the chaotic tower. From their initial meeting in the day, Lin Dong could feel that Shen Ju had likely already advanced to the advanced profound life stage. When his Yuan power had gathered, his life chi was boundless. His Yuan power was like an ocean that was endlessly growing and multiplying, making it difficult for anyone to resist. Such strength was much greater than that of Wei Zhen and Chen Luo. After all, within the profound life stage, there was a distinct difference between every stage. Crossing that barrier was no simple matter. With these thoughts, Lin Dong could not help but reflect on the situation. Although Shen Ju was so powerful, he was only ranked third within the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region. This made him wonder, what kind of monsters were those two ranked above Shen Ju? Most importantly, the Heaven Wind Sea region was only one of the many sea regions within the Chaotic Demon Sea. Within the other sea regions, there obviously existed others with similar strength, or even monsters that were even more powerful. Truly worthy of the Chaotic Demon Sea. Lin Dong faintly pursed his lips. As a whole, the strength of the Chaotic Demon Sea was higher than the Eastern Xian region. The reason for this might be the unstable environment in the Chaotic Demon Sea. The Eastern Xian region was clearly more peaceful and stable. Tomorrow will indeed be a bitter fight. Lin Dong muttered to himself. Regardless of how difficult it would be to deal with Shen Ju, he would not give up at such a time. The chaotic tower could repair the stone talisman. To him, this was an extremely important matter. Therefore, not only could he not shrink back in this fight, but he definitely needed to achieve victory. Oh! A solemn look flashed past Lin Dong's eyes. Raising his head, he saw a graceful and beautiful figure standing at the door of the courtyard. Her pure white dress drew out her full and alluring curves. That gentle and beautiful appearance belonged to Gu Menke. Miss Menke, is there something I can help you with? Lin Dong sent a smile towards Gu Menke and asked. Gu Menke gave a sweet and gentle smile. With lotus steps, she walked over to Lin Dong. Raising her fair hand, a thick lambskin parchment appeared within it. Yes, I've heard from Little Yan that you need a sea map of the chaotic demon sea. Upon hearing this, a happy expression bubbled forth from within Lin Dong's eyes, as he hurriedly extended his hand to receive it from her, before caressing it fondly. With this map, he would be able to search for the precise location of the second ancestral symbol. Many thanks Miss Menke. Gu Menke looked at the joyous Lin Dong, as her long and narrow peach blossom-like pupils formed a happy arc, 
before saying in a soft voice, You've helped the Gu clan a great deal, such rewards are only natural. Aren't you supposed to give me these rewards after I've helped you obtain victory? Giving this to me now, aren't you worried that I'll lose to Shen Tiju tomorrow, wasting all our efforts? Lin Dong replied with a joking smile. That might be the case, Gu Menki replied as she tilted her head slightly. Due to their close proximity, Lin Dong was able to see her slender snow white neck. That jade like luster really made one have the urge to take a bite. However, I believe in you. Gu Menki's beautiful eyes seemed to smile, as she turned towards Lin Dong with a smile on her face. Lin Dong gawked, before smiling as he shook his head. Never did he expect that Gu Menki would have such confidence in him. Shen Tiju was no ordinary individual. You're truly not willing to stay in the Gu clan? Actually, being a Gu clan sinecure won't restrict your freedom. After hesitating for a while, Gu Menki suddenly spoke out. I'm sorry. Lin Dong apologized and shook his head. He knew of the Gu clan's intent to recruit him, however, he knew that staying here would not make him truly strong. He never wanted to experience what had happened in the unique devil region a second time. Gu Menki's eyes slightly dimmed for a while. However, the intelligent her knew that saying more would be pointless, and could only softly sigh. After which, she said in a soft voice, regarding the issue of the sea map, Little Yan should have already told you that there are many unexplored regions in the chaotic demon sea. Therefore, you might not be able to find what you desire from this sea map. Lin Dong nodded his head somewhat helplessly. It was obvious that in his current state, he could do nothing about this. The chaotic demon sea was indeed too vast and gigantic. However, sea maps of unexplored regions will appear at large-scale auctions. Those are made by the sea demon race. If you ever chance upon such an auction, you can try your luck there. Thank you. Lin Dong nodded his head. This information was undeniably extremely valuable to him. He clearly understood how important it was for him to obtain the second ancestral symbol. Gu Menki shook her head. After telling Lin Dong a little more, she turned around and walked off. While she left, the hidden bitterness in her eyes made the Lin Dong laugh bitterly for a while. This was indeed the first time that he realized that he had such charm, and was unexpectedly able to cause the Gu clan's big miss fancy him a little. Unfortunately, it was after all a case of unrequited love. After Gu Menki left, Lin Dong carried the sea map and quickly entered the room. Opening it impatiently, his mental energy extended out, absorbing this extremely complicated sea map into his mind. The complexity of the sea map was beyond his expectations. Therefore, even with Lin Dong's mental energy, he had to spend half an hour before completely imprinting it in his mind. After doing so, he closed his eyes tightly, and compared the sea map with the map he had of the second ancestral symbol. This comparison continued for two full hours. However, Lin Dong's expression gradually turned ugly. From the looks of it, he still did not achieve the result that he had hoped for. Crash! The sea map was gently placed down by Lin Dong. He slowly opened his eyes, before smiling bitterly and shaking his head. After comparing the map of the second ancestral symbol and sea regions of the chaotic demon sea, he was still unable to find a matching location. It was evident that the place that the second ancestral symbol resided was not within an explored region. This result made Lin Dong somewhat disappointed, however, he secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Since it was in a region that was yet to be explored, that meant that the chances of the second ancestral symbol being obtained by someone else would be lower. Looks like the only thing I can do is to search those large-scale auctions, and see if I can obtain sea maps of the unexplored sea regions. Lin Dong muttered to himself. The chaotic demon sea was incomparably vast. If he was to rely solely on his own power to search, it was likely that there would be no results even after several years. However, it was obvious that Lin Dong did not have such luxury. He needed to return to the eastern Xian region within two to three years. Furthermore, he needed to drastically increase his strength, and also obtain the second ancestral symbol. 
If not, when he returned to the eastern Xian region, he would be unable to help the Great Desolation Tablet destroy the King Grade Yumo that was suppressing it. Thus, the sea maps of those unexplored regions were what he needed the most. Lin Dong wrinkled his forehead faintly, as he shook his head. Keeping the sea map in his Kyunkin bag, he proceeded to sit on his bed. At this current moment, it would be best to put aside the issue about the sea maps. The matter of vital importance, was still to gain entry to the chaotic tower. Currently, he should use his full strength to deal with the earth-shattering fight tomorrow, that would definitely cause a stir in the heaven-wind sea region. Chapter 879 This path is unpassable. The next day, when sunlight sprinkled down onto the island, when sounds were already filling the sky. Countless figures swarmed across the horizon like locusts, before finally heading towards the top the summit of the most majestic mountain at the center of the island. Currently, the defenses of the originally sealed mountaintop had already been removed. Hence, the great multitude of figures were able to smoothly land on the mountaintop. The great black sea of people stretched as far as the eye could see. The summit of the mountain was extremely vast. Everyone's gazes were focused on the area under the shade of the trees, where a several thousand feet wide limestone plaza was located. At the end of the plaza, was a thousand feet tall limestone tower. The tower faintly gave off an aura of ancientness and desolation. It washed across this land, causing one to feel as if one had returned to ancient times. Is that the chaotic tower? Somewhat fiery gazes shot towards the limestone tower one by one. Evidently, none of the people here unfamiliar with the stone tower that was jointly protected by the five great clans. It was said that the desolation chi within this chaotic tower was enormously beneficial towards physical body cultivation. If one was able to enter and absorb the chi while cultivating, it would definitely greatly increase one's strength. I wonder which clan will obtain the chaotic tower quotas this year. Some of the gazes that swept across the tower turned somewhat grave as they paused at the bottom of the tower. A handsome man wearing grey clothes was seated there. His eyes were tightly shut like a meditating old monk, and it seemed as if he could not sense the countless gazes that had gathered on him. Shentaju. Soft gasps echoed across the mountain top. Several experts looked at this handsome and elegant man, as they secretly smacked their lips. Many of those who were seeing Shentaju for the first time felt a rather great feeling of contrast. After all, the disparity between latter's elegant appearance and his Azura title was a little too great. However, to those that knew of Shentaju's nature, such a feeling of contrast did not exist. Only they understood the proud cruelness and viciousness of this elegant-looking man. The members of the five great clans had gathered around the plaza. From the looks of it, the battle today was extremely important to everyone, especially the Shenta clan. Although they were very confident in Shenta Ju, Lin Dong's performance yesterday had caused them to become rather fearful. If the latter's miracles continued today, their Shenta clan would lose the chaotic tower quotas. That Lin Dong has arrived. While the numerous gazes intersected with each other, a voice suddenly sounded from the back of the crowd. Wind sounds rang out as several figures flew over from far away, before finally slowly descending onto the limestone plaza. Three people had arrived. Leading them was naturally Lin Dong, while Gu Menki and Gu Yan followed behind. The moment Lin Dong landed, his gaze was immediately cast towards the grey-clothed man seated before the stone tower, as his eyes hardened. When Lin Dong's gaze was cast towards Shentaju, the latter seemed to have noticed as his impassive and handsome face gently trembled for a moment. Subsequently, his tightly shut eyes slowly opened. When his tightly shut eyes opened, the natural Yuan power before him suddenly rippled. Shun Ju stared at Lin Dong. On that handsome face, the corners of his mouth gently lifted. Boom! As this arc formed, Shun Ju's handsome face gained a trace of deadly sharpness while a ferocious aura quietly spread outwards. You finally come, Shen Ju stared at Lin Dong, as he gently smiled and said. Lin Dong's eyes were glued to Shen Ju's body. The boundless Yuan power surrounding the latter's body caused his eyes to become increasingly grave. 
such an presence was indeed the advanced profound life stage. Truly formidable, Lin Dong softly exclaimed in his heart. Looks like this Shen Tzu did indeed possess the ability, that had caused the geniuses from the other four clans to fear him in such a manner. Lin Dong softly sighed in his heart. Soon after, his heart gently trembled, as his gaze shifted from Shen Tzu's body to the giant thousand feet tall tower behind him. An ancient aura rippled from the tower. This aura was exactly the same as the desolation bead given to him by Gu Yan some time ago. So this is the chaotic tower. An extremely fiery aura climbed out from the depths of Lin Dong's eyes. Soon after, he licked his lips. At this very moment, he could feel the mysterious stone talisman deep in his body emit a buzzing noise. An extremely clear desire was being given off by the stone talisman. This desire was even stronger than the time with the desolation bead. Phew! Lin Dong deeply exhaled, while using his mind to suppress the stone talisman's activity. A great battle was imminent, and it would truly be a headache if this mysterious stone talisman was to cause a disturbance. Fortunately, the mysterious stone talisman was after all no ordinary object. It similarly sensed Lin Dong's current state. Thus, its activity only lasted for a while, before quietly weakening. However, its desire did not diminish at all. Don't worry, we will definitely go in. Lin Dong gently rubbed his chest, as he softly said in his heart. As his voice faded, the stone talisman also turned completely silent. From the looks of it, it seemed to have heard Lin Dong's words. As he felt the disturbance within his body die down, Lin Dong's taunt body gradually relaxed. However, the gaze with which he looked at the chaotic tower grew increasingly fiery. After so many years, this was the first time he had seen such desire from the mysterious stone talisman. Looks like this chaotic tower would be extremely beneficial towards its recovery. Thus, he definitely needed to enter this chaotic tower. Lin Dong, that is Shen Tzu, Gu Menki softly said from beside him. When she looked towards the handsome and elegant man in the distance, unconcealable graveness and worry appeared on her face. There was no one who did not fear this Azura amongst the younger generation of the other four great clans. Both of you should withdraw first. Lin Dong slightly nodded as he replied. We'll be counting on you, Gu Yan softly said. This was already the last battle, and this battle would determine who the chaotic tower quotas would belong to. As her voice faded, she exchanged a look with Gu Menki, before they both withdrew to the Gu clan seats outside the plaza. This Gu clan. Where did they find this external helper, to think that he would be so difficult to deal with? At the front of the plaza were the Shenta clan seats. Seated at the front were two white-haired elders. One of them was Shenta Tao whom Lin Dong had seen yesterday, while the other was an extremely high-ranking elder within the Shenta clan. His name was Shentu Emo, and he was similarly rather powerful. Currently, these two elders' eyes were slightly narrowed as they gazed at Lin Dong, who was within the plaza. Their expression were a little solemn, and it was likely that they understood how hard the latter was to deal with. Do not worry elders, with big brother Shentu Ju around, besides the two from the Universe Cave and the Demonic Wind Cave, none of the younger generation in the Heaven Wind Sea region is his match. When the two elders' words faded, a woman in black spoke out from the side. The woman was dressed entirely in black. She was gorgeous and tall, and her name was Shenta Rong. She was rather famous amongst the younger generation of the Shenta clan. Currently, she was looking at Lin Dong with some disdain. It was likely that her confidence in Shenta Ju had reached an incomprehensible level. Perhaps, in her eyes, the Lin Dong who had fought many battles to appear here, was merely someone who was blessed with a little luck, and had struggled desperately to reach this place. As the saying goes, a lion will go all out to capture a rabbit. There are so many capable individuals in this world. If you continue to be so arrogant, you'll definitely encounter trouble sooner or later. However, in response to her disdain, Shenta Tao's expression darkened as he chided. Shenta Rong frowned slightly, but she did not dare to speak any further. However, her eyes did not change much. 
Sai. Upon seeing this, Shen Tu Tao sighed in a somewhat helpless manner. Currently, the younger generation of the Shen Tu clan were all brimming with haughtiness due to Shen Tu Ju's existence. This was not good at all. Lin Dong did not hear their argument. Currently, the only thing in his eyes was the grey clothed figure seated before the stone tower. The majestic undulations from the latter's body caused Lin Dong's skin to feel a little cold. This Shen Tu Ju was going to be a truly worthy opponent. Hu. A ball of white chi was slowly spit out from Lin Dong's mouth. As he spat it out, Lin Dong's eyes gradually turned serious. He he. I've finally met a worthy opponent, however, I still need to tell you something. While Lin Dong's eyes turned serious, Shen Tu Ju slowly stood up. As he stood up, everyone felt a monstrously ferocious aura suddenly unfurl from within his body like a storm. The current Shen Tu Ju was like an azura that had crawled out from the abyss. His handsome face gave off a sinister and formidable feeling that made one's heart and soul tremble. Shen Tu Ju lifted his head and grinned at a Lin Dong. This path is impassable. Chapter 880, Green Dragon Battle Armor This path is impassable. When this statement that was brimming with a tyrannical aura emerged from Shen Tu Ju's mouth, everyone could feel that the atmosphere in the square seemed to suddenly frozen. Within the square, the two young figures raised their heads, and looked at each other, as cold light overflowed between them. Anyone could tell that the two in the square were both very formidable individuals. If it's impassable, Lin Dong's slender hands gently clenched into fists. Staring at Shen Tuju, he spoke out in a soft voice. Then I'll just make a path. The moment his final word rang out, green light erupted abruptly from within Lin Dong's pitch black pupils, as he took a step forward. The Yuan power within his body gushed out without reservation, while his clothes started to flutter as green light circulated beneath his skin. Haha, <laughs> make a path? People often say that I, Shen Tuju, am arrogant and wild. Looks like I've finally met someone who is more overbearing than myself today. Shen Tuju laughed heartily, as the fiendish aura on that delicate and handsome face intensified. Subsequently, his hands slowly extended from his sleeves. Oh! Lin Dong's gaze hardened slightly when Shen Tuju extended his hands out. The latter's hands were much longer than ordinary people. From afar, they looked like ten slender daggers. In addition, Grey light faintly flashed across their surface, as extremely sharp fluctuations quietly radiated out. I do like your overbearing manner. However, I'm afraid that you'll be unable to afford the price of my liking. Shen Tuju grinned, revealing a sinisterly white set of teeth. In the next instant, his body suddenly leaned forward as he shot out like a cheetah hunting its prey. Swish! Shen Tuju's figure was like galloping thunder. In a flash, numerous after-images appeared, as his figure seemed to transform into a ray of light. Carrying along a baleful aura that blotted the sky, he headed straight for Lin Dong. So fast! Lin Dong's eyes slight shivered, as he stared at the ray of light that was rapidly expanding in his eyes. Shen Tuju's movements revealed his tyrannical strength that exceeded that of Wei Zhen and Chen Luo. Even Lin Dong could only sense this speed by using his mental energy perception abilities. Thud. Lin Dong took a step to the side, as his body similarly tilted at an angle. Bang bang bang. Just as Lin Dong's body leaned to a side, the air in front of him abruptly exploded. Shen Tuju's fingers, that were akin to daggers that had been sharpened to the extreme, pierced through the air while carrying a strange grey glow as they stabbed explosively towards Lin Dong's throat. Shen Tuju's attack was both vicious and crafty. Obviously, he was also someone who had already experienced hundreds of battles. The glowing grey fingers were swift and fierce, and rapidly grew larger within Lin Dong's eyes. However, just as the grey glow was about to pierce Lin Dong's throat, green light gathered in front of his throat, transforming into a green dragon scale that sparkled with green light. Clang! At the moment of contact, a metallic sound rang out, as sparks flew. A ring-shaped force, that was visible to the naked eye, rippled outwards from the green dragon scale. 
interesting. Shen Tiju grinned a little when he saw the solid dragon scale that had been created by Lin Dong. Soon after, his gaze instantly turned cold, my Azura finger spear art isn't that easy to block. As Shen Tiju's voice rang out, grey light suddenly sparkled on the two fingers in contact with the green dragon scale. Upon seeing this, Lin Dong's eyes contracted a little. Unease erupted within his heart, as his figure rapidly retreated. Pop! The moment Lin Dong backed away, Shen Tiju's two fingers thrust like a spear. With a popping sound, the green dragon scale was pierced. Subsequently, two extremely deadly forces caught up to Lin Dong at lightning speed, before landing on his shoulders. Rib. The clothes on Lin Dong's shoulders were ripped apart, as two bloody holes appeared. A trace of fresh blood trickled down from them, causing the clothing on Lin Dong's chest to turn red. Whoosh! The exchange in the square had practically happened in a flash. However, everyone could see that injuries had appeared on Lin Dong, who had astonished everyone yesterday with his great abilities, causing the crowd to break out into an uproar. Truly worthy of the name Iron Azura Shentaju. He's able to injure Lin Dong with a single move. Truly formidable. Looks like this brat's journey will end here. Such a pity. At the Gu clan seats, the faces of Gu Menki, Gu Yan, and the rest changed slightly at this instant. In yesterday's battles, Lin Dong had always held the advantage, even against the Wei Zhen trio. Yet, he had suffered injuries right after the start of his battle against Shen Tiju. Was Shen Tiju really so powerful? I've said before that this fellow is definitely not Big Brother Shen Tiju's match. Upon seeing this spectacle, Shen Tiju Rong could not help but exclaim with glee. What's there to be happy about? That Lin Dong has not only avoided the fatal attack, but his physical body is similarly extremely tyrannical. Shen Tiju's attack only managed to cause some insignificant injuries to him. Shen Tiju Tao coldly shouted. Shen Tiju Rong gawked, however. She was clearly still somewhat doubtful as she mumbled, Big Brother Shen Tiju's Azura Finger Spear Art can even pierce the body of an initial profound life stage expert. That Lin Dong is no ordinary individual. His physical body likely does not lose out to Shen Tiju's Azura body. In addition, this person is similarly decisive when he attacks. It is evident that he has also similarly been tempered by bloody battles where his life had been truly at stake. No wonder he could challenge the Azura method, the true fight begins now. The other elder of the Shenta clan also nodded his head slowly. He stared at the thin figure in the distance with a gaze that was filled with some graveness. He was clearly aware of the enormous price that Shenta Ju had paid in order to train the Azura body to this level. However, this Lin Dong was unexpectedly able to match the former in this aspect. Shenta Rong's mouth twitched. Although she still had some doubt in her heart, the words of the two elders still had some weight after all. Looking at the figure in the distance, she muttered, No matter what, he'll never be able to beat Big Brother Shen Tiju. Haha, <laughs> such a strong body. Within the square, Shen Tiju smiled as he looked towards Lin Dong in the distance. However, his eyes had faintly narrowed. He knew how deadly his finger strength was. If they were to land on Wei Zhen's body, the latter's combat capabilities would immediately drop by half. Yet, the scene before his eyes. Such strong finger strength. Lin Dong's hand gently rubbed away the blood stains on his shoulders, before he started to smile. However, that smile was exceptionally cold and fierce. Other than the time that he had crossed hands with Yuan Kang, this was the second time he had suffered injuries so quickly in a match with a person from the same generation as himself. This Shen Tiju was indeed formidable. He was truly a class above those like Wei Zhen and Chen Luo. Looks like I've really underestimated you a little. Since this is the case, I've make sure not to give you too many chances. When I fight with others, it seems to be better to end the battle as quickly as possible. Shen Tiju loosened his shoulders. His hand seal changed, as a low and deep roar suddenly rang out, Azura body. Bang! As his voice rang out, monstrous grey light suddenly erupted and swept out from Shen Tiju's body. 
Within the grey light, his body inflated in size as the surface of his skin seemed to be infused with a jet black luster akin to tungsten. As the light flickered, it was pervaded by an indescribable feeling of tyranny, while strange patterns started to extend on the surface of his skin. As Shentaju's body changed, the grey light behind him transformed into a gigantic grey figure holding a trident. From a distance, it looked just like an azura from hell, and gave off a shockingly baleful aura. He's already using the azura body. Upon seeing this scene, the eyes of all the Shenta clan disciples narrowed. They were very clear as to how tyrannical Shenta Ju's azura body was. To have forced him to use this martial art so quickly, it seemed like Lin Dong was indeed difficult to deal with. You better display your body enhancing martial art now. Or else, you'll die, Shen Ju tilted his head and looked at Lin Dong. A cold look flitted across his glowing jet black face, as he spoke with a grin. Azura body hi. Since that is the case, then I'll have no choice but to use use my full power. Lin Dong gazed at Shen Ju, whose presence had abruptly turned extremely shocking, as his slender hands slowly clenched tightly. In the next instant, Resplendent green light ferociously exploded from his body. Green Dragon Battle Armor Green light surged, as a low and deep dragon roar abruptly rang out at this instant. Under the dragon roar, Lin Dong's ice-cold voice slowly echoed. 